Assalamu alaikum viewers. I hope everyone is fine, safe and sound. My name is Muhammad Zishan and you are watching Alexa with MZ YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the most important topic regarding RL series AC circuit is impedance triangle. So before going to start our today's lecture, please subscribe Alexa with MZ YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you will get each and every notification of my upcoming videos on time so let's start our today's lecture which is related to impedance triangle as it is clear from its name impedance triangle means there is a some sort of triangle so that we discuss here okay as we discussed in our previous lecture which is oral series AC circuit so we draw here redraw that particular circuit in which a resistor R is connected with an inductor in series with an AC supply voltage supply voltage V and this is the resistor R and this is the inductor L so the voltage drop or voltage across resistor R is VR and the voltage across the resistor inductor L is VL and the current flow through the circuit is I okay so in this circuit we study a term known as impedance which is equal to Z is equal to R plus X L okay and when we find out its magnitude it is equal to R square plus X L whole scale so how to find out this particular term which is also comes in order to find out the power factor cos phi which is equal to resistance over impedance okay and this term also comes in order to find out the phase angle phi which is equal to xl over or okay so to find out impedance Z we mostly use a particular concept which is known as impedance triangle so as we know that in RL series AC circuit the phasor diagram is equal to this is the V of R and this is the VL and this is V okay right angle triangle with phase angle phi so as we know that V is equal to IZ V of R is equal to IR and V is equal to IXL so this is the phasor diagram for our series AC circuit in order to find out impedance triangle we divide each and every side by I such that we get IZ divided by I is equal to Z okay I XL divided by I is equal to XL and I R divided by I is equal to R so so this phasor diagram becomes this is the phase angle phi and this is equal to Z 
this is equal to xl and this is equal to r so definition of phasor diagram or why we use it because impedance triangle is a useful concept in an AC circuit analysis which is used to find out number one the impedance of the circuit ie it means that z is equal to r square plus xl whole square in case of rl series ac circuit number two it is used to find out power factor of the circuit power factor of the circuit cos phi is equal to r divided by z phase angle phi it means that tangent phi tan of phi is equal to inductive reactance over r so here the question arises why we use tan tangent factor to find out the phase angle phi because we know that the impedance triangle is equal to impedance z xl and it is equal to r and this is the phase angle phi okay so we know that because cos theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse and tangent theta is equal to if is equal to perpendicular over base so in this impedance triangle this factor phi is related to resistor resistance R and impedance Z okay so if we use factor cos theta then we replace theta with respect to phi and it is equal to base and base is R divided by hypotenuse is equal to Z okay so we also calculate phase angle phase angle phi easily but in order to get more accuracy more correct answer we use tangent theta and replacing theta by phi which is equal to perpendicular over base and we know that perpendicular is equal to xl and base oh, and base is equal to r so we also calculate phase angle phi 
with more accurate answer okay that's why we also so use these two factors either cos phi or tan phi so So cos theta is equal to resistance over impedance this means that phi sorry phi is equal to cos inverse r over z similarly tangent phi is equal to xl over r this means that phi is equal to tan inverse xl over r okay so these are the two factors that we use both for fi find out the phase angle phi but this is the most commonly used factor for finding out the most efficient most efficient and correct phase angle value okay the value of phi can also be calculated by using the factor cos phi okay but in order to get maximum accuracy we use tangent phi in order to calculate the value of phase angle phi okay okay so this is the impedance triangle which is mostly used for finding out the four factors number one is the impedance of the circuit which is equal to z is equal to r square plus xl whole square and this formula is already explained in the previous video which is labeled as RL series AC circuit so if anyone having any confusion regarding this formula so he may take help from that video okay and number two how to find out the impedance in case of power factor okay so in order to find out the power factor of RL series AC circuit we draw impedance triangle mostly to find out that particular value and with the help of this value we can find out the power factor easily okay after that to find out the phase angle phi okay we also use and we take help from the impedance triangle okay So, the most important note here is
we always used to draw impedance triangle while studying or analyzing an AC circuit so today we discuss impedance triangle with respect to the RL series AC circuit in the next upcoming videos when we discuss RC series AC circuit we also discuss impedance triangle but in the form of RC series circuit okay so I hope you enjoyed today's lecture so don't forget to like share and subscribe Electra with MJ YouTube channel and if you have any confusion regarding impedance triangle topic so feel free and you can ask any question in comment section so in the next video we discuss RC series AC circuit and briefly analyze everything in that particular circuit okay so stay tuned till then stay safe stay at home Allah Hafiz so this is the end of lecture.